Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about the transit sun conjunct one's natal midheaven. Now we're talking about transits of the sun in astrology. Uh, we're talking about you know, our, our focus, our attention, concentration of energy. When it's conjoining uh, an astrological point, it's very constant. It's very you know the energy between the, the, the planet, the transit of the planet, and the astrological energy natally is going to be very could be very intensified. When we're talking about this transit, there could be very strong focus, attention, and concentration of energy. Uh, given it's a midheaven on one's career. It could be their vocation, their livelihood, if it's an Aquarius. It could be on some astrological career or something with innovation, astronomy, aerospace, rocket science, even electronics, computers. It could be something with humanitarianism. Uh, it's also um, our status and reputation. And the thing about uh, MC, the Midheaven is about our status and reputation. Again, going back to the zodiac sign Aquarius, I have Aquarius MC Midheaven. And I mean, when I have this transit, it could be issues uh, regarding my reputation as an astrologer, or maybe for being a little bit eccentric or unorthodox. And um, this could also be a time, too, where we put a lot of that really that energy, that concentration of energy, that focus on achievements as well. The mid heaven can be about our accomplishments and achievements. Now, I mean, if somebody is involved in you know, some unusual activity or profession, like you know, daredevil, a stuntsman, escape artist, it could be somebody that's focusing on, on those kind of achievements. If it's in Cap if somebody has their mid heaven in Capricorn, it could be something business or government or political work, dentistry, information technology. And also, too, our, um, we're talking about this um, transit. Remember that the midheaven is also associated with the dominant parent, which is often the father. So this could be, I mean, the sun is about life and energy. So when you have this transit, this could be about really where life might be injected, maybe with a connection with a dominant parent, say, if the dom say if you have your midheaven in Scorpio, it could be you know Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant person, or one that simply embodies those characteristics. And keep in mind too, the Sun and the midheaven can be connected. I mean, can be connected with the father because the Sun is associated with the biological father, and and the midheaven. Is the dom represents the dominant parent, which is generally going to be the father. So this could be a very intense period for matters that are associated with the father. Now, also too, um, the, the midheaven is about our notoriety, our recognition, and our exposure we may get for something. Say if this is in Gemini, there could be a strong focus in shining the light, so to speak on some you know career accomplishment it could be something you know if it's in gemini it could be something with writing journalism um, maybe it's something connected with you know, work that requires manual dexterity it could be strong use of the hands like working on cars or you know mechanic um, or being a refrigeration mechanic uh, it's also about, the, the, the tenth house is also about the authority, it can be connected with the authority figures or attaining a position of authority. So there could be really, at this time, a lot of attention, a lot of concentration of energy. It could be on attaining a position of authority. It could be on authority uh, figures, maybe they're monopolizing your time more so than usual. If you're at a job where you're in a subordinate or subservient position, they could be. It could be a situation where maybe you're you're giving them more time than usual. You have, you're giving them more attention than maybe what you ordinarily would want to do or generally do. And it could also be again about attaining a position. 
of authority. Going back to Capricorn, it could be something in some government capacity or working as a landlord or just some management in a, in a retail outlet. Uh, the, the, the midheaven is also associated with our stature in life. And, uh, and this could be a time, too, where you put like you might put a little bit more focus on that than usual, seeing where you are in life. How, how are you stacking up with others, your social status? Um, the thing about it is, say if this is in Sagittarius, it could be a lot of exuberant energy, maybe expansive exuberant energy into increasing your stature in life, your social status, how you stack up uh, with others. And the, ten, and the, the uh, Midheaven is also about our public image. And the thing about it is it can show, uh, reflect areas in life that you know, we really, we have a hard time concealing. Yes, the Ascendant is about our astrological mask, our facade, what we project to others, how others see us. But the, the Midheaven can reflect not so much appearance, but it could be qualities and that you might be exhibiting some kind of energy that even if you try to hide can be very difficult uh, to suppress. In my case, again, I have an Aquarius uh, midheaven, and with me there might be some, you know, some eccentric or unorthodox energy, um, non-performing energy that people, you know, will see, and there might not be much I can do really about it to hide it, no matter how hard. I may try. There could be a focus of this at this time. Now, the sun in astrology is also about our drive and motivation. Now, this could be a time where someone, uh, people that have this transit, they may be more motivated and driven toward career and business related matters. If you have this in Aries, it could be you know, something with the military as a career, or some work that involves the head something with a combat sport like karate or judo or could be sur or even something could be uh, surgery could be another areas like a uh, uh, profession welding anything that involves fire if it's in Capricorn it could be some kind of Capricorn related career like government uh, information technology uh, something with business it could be working or doing some with management dentistry and also with very ambitious and orthodox, very methodical energy, if this is in, in Capricorn, being driven to uh, do things career-related with a lot of Capricorn consistency as well. And when we're talking about the sun and astrology, it's about what also we may be shining that light on, so to speak. Now, when you have this transit hitting, you have the transit sun hitting your navel midheaven, this could be about on one's reputation, it could be their, their career, their public image at this time. And going back to you know my example for me with Aquarius, it could be shining the light, so to speak, on a public image that might be somewhat eccentric or even rebellious, even unorthodox. And the thing, uh, too, is also the sun in astrology, again, is associated with the biological father, and it's also connected with children. So at this time, when you have the transit sun hitting your natal midheaven, this could be a time where the biological father or child may figure more prominently. Uh, it could be in matters connected with notoriety, recognition, exposure, your reputation, your achievements at this time. Um, say if it's in Leo, it could be some, you know, something with acting something with drama or creativity, maybe some kind of game design, uh, anything that could be uh, Leo related, something with sports even. Now, another thing too is that this is also, we're talking about, um, and going and say if this is in uh, Aquarius, it could be an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant person, this father, biological father, or child, or simply one that embodies Aquarius-like characteristics or traits that might be figuring, you know, biological father or child might be figuring more prominently in your exposure, your notoriety, your recognition, even attaining a position of authority, perhaps. It's also a time, too, since the Sun is about shining, and the MC is about our notoriety, could be 
with some recognition or accolades we receive, it could be a very intense period for gaining. Uh, it could be a very favorable or auspicious period, I would say, for gaining some kind of you know recognition for what you do in your life. Hold on a moment, people. Sorry about that, I'm back, but anyway, this is also a period, too, uh, when we look at this, I mean, we're talking about, um, the sun astrology is about identity as well, and it could be your, at this time, when you have this transit, your identity as perceived by the, the community, and again, going back to the fact that you know, your ascendant, it's about you know what you're projecting to others, your astrological master facade. While the midheaven, um, the midheaven, can be about a side of you that can be that is hard to suppress or conceal, no matter what you try to do to uh, to hide it. And if this is in, uh, I mean, say this is in uh, Pisces, for example. It could be something, you know, connected, you know, with altruism or an altruistic nature or some kind of compassionate, self-sacrificing energy that, you know, people identify you with. And there may be a strong, you know, focus on this now. And it could also be, I mean, this is a time, too, where um, sometimes it could be a physical issue that might go public. Remember, the sun is associated with the physical body. And uh, the, uh, mid, the midheaven, the mid, the, the um, midheaven is about you know what's going public. And the thing about this too, keep in mind too, the sun is about the conscious. It's about conscious energy and what we are are actually cognizant of. And when you have this transit, this could be more, where you become more aware, more conscious and cognizant of achievements of your accomplishments. Of this time giving yourself maybe some credit perhaps for doing this and also um, the 10th house I would say could be connected with older people because the 10th house in astrology corresponds with the zodiac sign Capricorn let's say you have your 10 your 10th house your midheaven in, in the zodiac sign cancer this could become that trend because the Sun is about what we want to do this could manifest in wanting to express sympathy, toward care, toward protecting maybe those that are elderly, or even maybe maybe somebody, maybe you the dominant parent as well, which is the um, you know usually generally the father in many instances. Um, it could be somebody you're close with that's in a position of authority, and it's also very protect could be protective energy connected with your own career and reputation. So some. In this example, I'm talking about the zodiac sign cancer. But anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, everyone learns to stay well.